we are going to look at applying background fill effects to a drawn object. When working with drawn objects, I like to experiment on a blank slide. So I'll start by changing the slide layout to blank. So I'm using the slide layout on the right hand side. There's a blank one. Simply click on it and it changes the layout to blank. Adding a drawn object is quite straightforward. Just make sure you can locate the drawing toolbar, which is usually at the bottom of the screen. If you can't see it, you can switch it on using View, Toolbars and Drawing. So, some simple shapes. We'll start by selecting the Rectangle tool with a single click and then move your mouse to the page and then click and drag to the required shape and size. We'll repeat that with the oval, single click, draw to your canvas and click and drag to the shape and size that you want. If you want a perfect shape, a perfect shape, uh, rectangle or a perfect circle, then you select the oval tool and hold down the shift key while you draw and that will give you a perfect shape every time. Drawn objects can be moved around the screen and they can be resized at any time. You can also add lines, same process, click and drag, and arrows, click and drag, and auto shapes. Click on auto shapes, choose an auto shape that you like the look of. There's lots of different ones there to play around with. There's a nice smiley face. And then click and drag on the screen. Changing the appearance is quite straightforward. You select the object that you want to work with with a single click and then use the fill colour icon on the drawing toolbar. Using the arrow allows you to change lots of different colours but also fill effects and that brings up the same fill effects that we've used on slide backgrounds and placeholder backgrounds. I'm just going to choose a preset here, sunset, and it's applied there. So repeat that, fill effects, and of course there's textures and patterns and pictures that you can get from your computer in the same way as we did earlier. We can also change the line colour, which is the line colour tool just to the right of the fill tool and that changes the line of the colour of the line around the outside of your object. You can also get these effects by right clicking Try that again by right clicking on your object and doing format auto shape and there you've got the fill colour and the line colour and things there. Also by right clicking, you can add text to your object and you can format that in the usual way and you can change its colour using the font colour tool. You can also alter the line thickness, I've selected my Moodle object there, you can use this icon the line style to alter the thickness of the line around the outside or indeed give it a pattern. You can do all these effects on your arrows and lines and even change the type of arrow that you have. You can see the block at either end there. So lots of interesting objects to work with to um, Add into your presentations. You can add text and you can format the backgrounds. Have some fun.